Can I do this though? Do the realness. Can a white the, 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 the realness. Can a white nerd pontificate on this hip hop real quick? Well, let's let me say real quick. Last time you did the realness, you said some stuff about Nicki Minaj saying her Starship song was way too pop and she sold out. Yes. It got back to her. Then she made a record that bang, bang, that and, bang, bang. And I know for a fact that after she heard the realness, she went back and re-recorded her verse to make sure it was hot. So you're welcome, hip-hop. Okay, well, so you saying the realness moves meters in this town. This moves things out okay. here, all right? Listen, I know that I complain a lot about the current state of hip-hop, and I mean everything that I say. I think there is way too much hashtag hip-hop light out there right now. But one man who is not hip hop light or light at all for that matter is my man Rick Ross. Ooh, all right? Fat joke. <laughs> well, I have to. And I just want to declare one factual statement today Speak that, on it, that may brother. bother some people, but I think way more people will agree. If Ricky Rose's next album, God Forgives I Don't, is as good as his previous work, Ross will hands down be the number one MC in the game today, and there is no close second place. Whoa. No close second place. All right? What about Lil Wayne? No close second place. Ooh. Wayne ain't had a good album in years. Drake doesn't rap enough. All right? That's just a fact. He's a great artist. He doesn't rap enough. Whether you like Ross or not, you got to deal with the facts. Beats, rhymes, the character, the consistency, the charisma, the dude has it all. And to this point, he's delivered four dope albums, and he's dropped mad mixtapes that are better than people's entire catalogs of albums. True story. On top of that, Ross survived a bitter feud with 50 Cent and came out no worse for the wear, a feat accomplished by no one else in hip-hop history, all right? No worse and, for the wear? Yeah, and, what the hell is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Real Sorry, it's, a, it's, it's, a term. Wrestling. it's a term. <laughs> he came out better than he was before. How about that? And you have to speak on Ross's consistency, all right? He is... Not only the most consistent rapper currently in the game, he may be among the most consistent rappers of all time. Who else has released more great consecutive albums? Kanye is close, but a lot of people do not like 808s and Heartbreak. Crap. And then, of course, there's Ghostface to me, who's arguably the most consistent rapper of all time, but he doesn't do it on the same level Ross does. All right? No matter how you cut it, if Ross delivers, if Ross delivers with this next album, it's official. We are living in the Rick Ross era. Deal with it. White boy has spoken. What about Jay? What about Jay? I just finished the realness. Save your questions for later. Right. The Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg Show with K Fox on Hot. Now, to answer your question, uh, Jay-Z's era was earlier. This is not Jay-Z's era. This is the Ross era, all right? Mm. Jay-Z had an era, and he's still big, but this is the Ross era.